In this video, I'm discussing backgammon terminology as it relates to match play. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is now available. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy it. I am giving lessons if you're interested. Please email me. My email is in the description below. So in this video, we're going to talk about match play. So unlike a money game or an unlimited game where the goal is to get as many points as you can, in a match, it's played to a specified score. Uh, so, And the score is usually an odd number. So, for example, a five-point match, a seven-point match, a nine-point match, and so forth. The goal in a match is to get to the specified score. Uh, the goal is not to win as many points as possible. Once you get to the specified score, then you win the match. If you get more points than that goal, then it doesn't matter. But in an unlimited game, anytime you win more points, it does have value. So you need to understand that in a match and take that into consideration. The absolute score is the actual number of points each player has. For example, if there's a five point match and one player wins one point in the first game, the score is one to zero. If he wins another point, then it's two zero and so forth. If the opponent wins the second game, then it's tied one one. So that's the absolute score, the number of points you have in the match. In contrast, the away score refers to the number of points each player needs to get to the goal score. And that's more important than the absolute score. Uh, for example, if a player has one point in a five point match, the score is one zero, the absolute score. But that player's score is four away because one uh, is four away from five. So five minus one is four. So that player needs four more points to reach the goal. And if it's 1-0, um, your score is four away and the opponent's score is five away. The away score is always more important than the absolute score. Because for example, in a five point match, if you're winning one to zero, you're four away and five away. But let's say you're in a seven point match and you're winning three to two, the score, the away score is still four away, five away. You still need four points to win and the opponent still needs five points to win. So it doesn't matter if it's one zero in a five point match or three two in a seven point match. Always remember the away score. The Crawford rule is an important rule to uh, understand when you're playing a match. The Crawford rule states that when one player gets to one away, the doubling cube may not be used for one game. So that protects the leader. After the Crawford game, which is called post Crawford, the trailer may double at its first opportunity. So when one player gets to one away, the other player cannot double for one game. But if the trailer wins that game, then he can double immediately at his first opportunity. Double match point is a specific score in a match. It's also abbreviated DMP. A lot of people will refer to it as DMP. And that is the one away, one away score. So for example, in a five point match, if the absolute score is four, four, then the away score is one away, one away, also known as double match point or DMP. What happens in this game is the winner of this game wins the match. There is no doubling cube because nobody, neither player needs more than one point. And gammons and backgammons do not count whether they're wins or losses. Because if you win one point, you lose the match. If you win two points, I mean, I'm sorry, if you win one point, you win the match. If you win two points, you win the match. And if you win three points, you win the match. And same for losses. So that has specific implications. For example, if you have an opening 6-4 to play as orange at double match point, DMP, the score here is one away, one away, the correct play is to run all the way with one back checker, 24 to 13, resulting in this position. 
In contrast, if you're playing a money game, so this is an unlimited game with an opening 6-4, the best play is to split 24 to 18 and 13 to 9. This is slightly better. And then, and this results in this position. And in a five-point match, this is a little bit different. The best play for an opening 6-4 is to make the two-point with 8-2, 6-2, resulting in this position. This wins more gammons, uh, and gammons are more important at this score in a match. But gammons are irrelevant at DMP, and playing the DMP play like this, this wins more games. And you can see that in the analysis here. This wins 50.4% of the games, um, and then... This one wins more games and it helps with gammon, uh, it decreases gammon losses. And then this one wins more gammons. Now, gammon go is another important score. That is when you are two away and your opponent is one away and it's the Crawford game. So two away, one away, Crawford. Since it's the Crawford game, the doubling cube may not be used. Therefore, if you win an undoubled gammon, you win the match. Uh, but if you win a back gammon, that does not have any additional value. And then if you lose a gammon or back gammon, that does not have any additional value for your opponent. Therefore, what you want to do is play more aggressively to win the gammon as compared to other scores like DMP or in a money game or an unlimited game. For example, if you roll an opening 5-4 at Gammon go, this is two away, one away, Crawford. The correct play is to bring two checkers down, 13 to uh, nine and 13 to eight, resulting in this position. This brings more checkers into the zone. You can play more aggressively, offensively to make points or attack the back checker, the opponent's back checker, um, if uh, the opponent splits. In contrast, when you're playing an unlimited game, the best play with an opening 5-4 is to split the back checkers with 24 to 20 and bring a checker down 13 to 8, and this is what it looks like. Gammon save is another important score, and it's essentially the reverse of gammon go. It's one away, two away, Crawford, where you are one away and your opponent is two away, and it's the Crawford game. So again, the doubling cube may not be used. Now, in this case, a gammon loss loses the match, and back gammon losses do not matter. Um, uh, and gammon and back gammon wins. This is, this is incorrect. This should say wins. Gammon and backgammon wins have no additional value. Therefore, you want to play more conservatively to avoid losing a gammon. For example, if you have an opening 4-3 to play, it's slightly better to split the back checkers with 24 to 21 and bring a checker down with 13 to 9, resulting in this position. When you are able to split, um, you can either uh, soon make an advanced anchor and that loses fewer gammons or escape a back checker to have easier, easily, more easily escape a back checker to allow only one checker back and that loses fewer gammons. Uh, in contrast, in a money game, it's better to play two checkers down, 13, 10, 13, 9, to look like this. Uh, because in this, you win uh, more games and more, not more games, but you have a higher equity because you can win more gammons relative to the gammon losses and so forth. Note that these are all very close, but these are the kinds of things you need to think about throughout the game when you're playing gammon go and gammon save. Uh, and then later on in the game, in the middle game, things uh, will become more of a difference. You'll have a bigger difference between one play and a set and a different play based on the score. So that was an overview of some backgammon terminology as it relates to match play. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon, Backgame Strategies, is now available. There's a link in the description where you can buy it. I am offering lessons. If you're interested, please send me an email. My email address is in the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.